Did you like the whole marking sheet on the last... Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon and today I'm doing a mock test with Erin. We have a, a test coming up very, very soon. So how are you feeling? Okay. You don't know, you just want to get it over and done with yeah. now. Yeah, it's got to that point where it's like, yes, let's just do this test, mm -hmm. test and see what it's test, test mm -hmm. and see what it's about. Yeah. Okay, so mock test criteria, are you happy you know what's going to happen, how this is going to go? I think so. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so I'm not going to be helping you at all, it's just giving you directions, maybe okay. some road signs. Yeah. We're not going to use a sat nav in today's test, we're going to do one manoeuvre, possibly an emergency stop. Similar to everything we've been practicing. All right, Erin, whenever you're ready, we're going to get started. But before we do, quick question about your vehicle. No. <laughs> so how would you know if your brakes are working before starting a journey? Go like this and check them. Okay. <laughs> is, okay, is there anything you're looking for when you press down on the brakes? Pressure. Okay. <laughs> Alright, when you're ready, let's start the engine. What happens if you get the pressure wrong? Just then one, you'd get a minor fault. One, okay, that's fine. I'll just get the pressure wrong. Then. Or just practice the questions beforehand. That would make more sense. Alright, whenever you're ready, let's start. I'm still going to tell you directions as normal. So if I'm not saying anything, you're just going straight. Okay. The examiner's not going to tell me where to go. As in, if they want you to go straight, they're going to sit quietly. And if they want you to turn, they'll tell you. It's the same as what we do in our lessons. Oh. So at the end of this road, I'd like you to turn right, please. Traveling along this road, there are parked vehicles predominantly on the right-hand side, so if a vehicle was coming towards us, we want to position more left so that they can go through the middle of the road easily. Now there's a bus approaching towards us, but the bus driver decides to stop. If they hadn't stopped, then we would need to move more left and just come to a complete stop. Although we do have priority here, but if you can see the vehicle in front has already committed and now there's no longer enough space for you, it's better to just come to a stop and then deal with it safely. At the end of the road turn left please. We're going to start the independent driver of the. Oh my god! <laughs> We're going to start the independent part of the um, driving test. I'm going to give you some signs to follow. I'd like you to follow signs towards rice slip for a little while. This is the part where I'm going to fail. If I haven't already. Rice slip is signposted straight ahead on this roundabout, but there are signs and road markings to show that you need to be in the right-hand lane to continue ahead. Erin does get into the right-hand lane, but as we're getting closer to the roundabout, she starts to steer towards the left and doesn't stay in her lane correctly, so she gets marked down for this.
he was running as if he was going to come across that. Yeah, across I know. It. I thought he was going. <laughs> but he didn't. Yeah, it's Excuse me, I'm driving at the speed limit. That was fast. Oh, whoa, oh, he's God. reckless, saying he, but oh, that person's really bad. They nearly had a collision. But all of that just to... Ahead of us, the two lanes are merging, and Erin starts checking her mirrors to start merging in with the right, but doesn't notice that the vehicle in front of her is actually making a right turn. She stops alongside them in the middle of the road and gets a serious fault for this. If you could pull in and park up on the left hand side somewhere safe. Thank you. Drive off in a view. What is the point of that? Well, to see how you park up. Oh. Are they actually going to make me do that? Yes. Here, and I'd like you to now follow some signs towards Yedding. Okay. Yedding is the second exit on this roundabout. It's positioned about 10 o'clock and it's also a very thin line in comparison to the other exits, which means it is not a major exit and it's also on a white background, which means it's also on a B road, whereas the other exits have a green background, which are A roads. It was not safe to stop at this point as we were already too close. Be sure to step off the accelerator when leading up to green lights that have been green for some time, but if you get too close, you need to continue. Also be mindful of traffic behind you. If they're following you too closely, sometimes it's safer to continue through, but only if you're too close and it's unsafe to stop. As we enter this roundabout, Erin gets a serious fault with lane discipline. So we're currently in the middle lane between the van and the red car. As soon as we enter the roundabout, Erin drives into the right hand lane behind the red car and then back into the middle lane. She needed to stay within her lane marking in order to get to this position and not go into the right hand lane. If somebody had been in the right hand lane behind this red car, I would have had to grab the steering wheel as the person on the right doesn't have anywhere else to go. be the end of your independent driving. I'm going to give you directions as normal from now on. Yeah. At the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right. It's the second exit. Mm -hmm. 
on the inside of the roundabout, we have an area marked out with a solid white line. You want to make sure you don't drive in this section. You want to go around this section instead. This is used as a traffic calming measure to make you slow down to take the roundabout wider. You'll usually see larger vehicles going into this section when taking this turn, as there's not a lot of space for large vehicles to be able to turn without going in this section. And if you could pull in and park up on the left anyway, safe. Thank you. I can drive off whenever oh. you're ready. As we're waiting to move off from this point, the road behind us is now clear, but Erin keeps waiting for traffic on the opposite side of the road to clear before continuing. There is actually enough space for us to start moving off. She is being slightly cautious at this point, but this will not be marked down as a fault, and she's simply just waiting for a safer gap before moving off. So don't rush yourself to move away. Take the next road on your left, it's coming up shortly. Turn left and then left again. Erin missed the first left turn, which would have been much easier. The second left turn is much sharper. The only time you'd go up to that point to turn is if you were making a right turn. Well, we've done the left turn already. Yeah. Continue driving. up on the left hand side just by that large tree don't worry about the drives on this occasion that's fine there thank you all right Erin what I'd like you to do now using this blue car in front I'd like you to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise so start alongside this vehicle in the road Okay, and then reverse back. You happy? You know what you're doing? Erin starts off the parallel park manoeuvre really nicely by looking over both blind spots, moving really slowly with clutch control and steering quickly to get into the space. As we're going back, she continues to check over her right blind spot and notices there is a car waiting for her. Now the first half of the manoeuvre she does really well, but as we're going into the space, she stops in the middle of the road, but then does not look all around.
it's really important to continue checking all around you whilst you're reversing. So the second half of the maneuver, Erin was not looking around to so get marked down for this. Thank you. Drive up whenever you're ready. Oh no, I'm too close to that. And then take the next road on your right, please. Continue straight ahead at the traffic lights. Bus driver was eleven. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone's up today. All right, now at this roundabout, and I'd like you to go straight ahead, second exit, and then turn left. So that's straight ahead, and then turn left. Erin approaches the roundabout really nicely and actually has a gap on entry which she takes straight away but as she enters the roundabout she does not gain momentum and actually slows down the vehicle that's on the roundabout before her. Also she does not position properly in her lane, she needed to keep closer to the left to take the exit. And just turn left in here.
Okay, Erin, when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would demiss the front windscreen. I would what? <laughs> Carry on driving normally. <laughs> Can you show me how you'd open a window? Thank you, you can close that. Do they actually ask you those questions? Yeah, because you need to show you can operate the controls while driving. Do you miss the front screen? Yeah. It's this button here. Okay. Turn left. when you're parked up and then they'll get you to do it again while you're driving. Uh, oh, we're putting in a new zebra crossing here. Uh, right in the middle of a bus stop. Does this mean that it's the actual zebra crossing? It's not there yet. They're, that's why they've covered up the um, Belisha beacons at the minute. But they are making a zebra crossing there. That's so dull in the middle of a bus stop. Well, clearly they're going to move the bus stop, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, they'll have to. But that's how it is at the minute. <laughs> Aaron, can we take the second road on the left? The second one, yeah? So this one? Yeah. And then once you've turned, turn into that road in front. So just a, a right turn in here now. Now if we can park up behind that van, that would be great. But leave enough space to move away, okay? Secure the car. Switch off the engine. Thank you. All right, that's the end of your test. How was your drive? Really good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was sarcasm. I can't tell. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> unfortunately, it wouldn't be a pass. That's so sad. Please tell me you realised. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't <laughs> tell if it's sarcasm still. Yeah. Okay, so. There are a few bits where I couldn't really understand why you were doing this. So, <laughs> so right earlier, when we had those cars overtaking silly, yes. after that, we're merging yes. two lanes. You've got a car in front of you, you've got a car behind you. Yeah. On the lead up to that, you did really well. You're checking your mirrors to watch that BMW behind. Yeah. You're speeding up. The person in front of us was turning right. Did you uh, realise? Yeah. No, I did had to do a stop. Okay. But why don't you just go round them? I don't know. So you literally just stopped in the middle of the road? Yeah. That was a bit unnecessary, wasn't it? Yeah. And then, as we went forward, now going to that first roundabout up there to do Yedding yeah, that, second exit. Yeah, I was so confused when I was doing that. I was just thinking, what am I what's going on? So two things happened there. Firstly, when we got to that roundabout, the traffic light started changing. Yes. Do you think you should have stopped? No. I yeah. instantly regretted my decision. Yeah, so that stop was... <laughs> very much unnecessary yeah okay then as we moved off from that position you were in the middle of the three lanes you're in lane two as you entered i know last time i said to you go into the roundabout and then go round. yeah but don't go in that much so you went lane two <laughs> lane three back to two yeah so you you couldn't see the marking so we're going to go and try that before we finish up today okay after that you followed the, the lane round really nicely um the parallel park maneuver how was it? Amazing. Okay, parking. Perfect. Can't fault you. Yeah, then I forgot to check my blind spot. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, but I said, oh no, I forgot to check my blind spot. <laughs> so I think that should be not <laughs> taken into account. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. <laughs> okay, so if, when you started the manoeuvre, okay, you checked, you were in the middle of the road. The first half of that manoeuvre can't fault you. You were looking everywhere, really nice control. But then the mm. second half, there's a car waiting for you and you're just kind of doing your own thing and you're just focusing on, on the left hand side and then the car's yeah. gone round you and you're just kind of parking still had you looked over towards the right in the second half it would have been fine because uh, you knew initially that he was waiting for you because you checked yeah and then you didn't yeah and then you didn't and it's just like oh come on just, just look that's all you needed to do 
But before you even started that manoeuvre, you gave up as soon as I told you we're going to do it. Yeah. You went, oh, great. Yeah. Don't do that. Because you're already putting yeah. yourself into kind of like a negative. Yeah? Because yeah. you did the manoeuvre so nicely. Yeah? Yeah. Um, okay, and then we had the bit where we were behind the learner for a little while. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah? Mm. That was fine. Nothing went on there. But now when we're approaching that big roundabout to take that second exit. Yeah. On the lead up to that roundabout, you looked and it was clear, right? You yeah. had a nice gap before that grey car. Yeah. When you entered, the timing was fine. But as you enter that roundabout, I need you to go quicker. Think okay. of it as you're running into the roundabout rather than walking in. Yeah. That's what you did. You kind of went in gradually and it was fine. That yeah. first half of the roundabout was fine. It was like, you know, it could be better, but it was fine. Yeah. Then once we're now going towards the exit, the positioning was everywhere again. Yes. Did you realise? Yes. So I need you to carry a bit more speed because it's such a big roundabout. Yeah. Do you get the importance of that? I do. Yeah? Yes. So the bits that we need to tidy up, there's, there's not a lot, but it's the same sort of positioning thing again. The traffic light, we definitely should not have stopped for. So a bit yeah. more just awareness of what's going on around you. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go and practice all these things before we finish up today. Okay. But overall, well done. You didn't give up. No. You drove independently without my guidance. Yeah. There's a few bits we need to buff up, but we have time. So again, no worries, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully you guys have found that video to be useful. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and select that bell icon. We're going to go and work on some of these things, but we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>